and welcome to Honest Trailer Commentaries for Game of Thrones Volume 3. This is the show where we talk about that other show on this channel. We used to be on the other channel. Shut up, you'll get it. Uh, I'm Spencer, Jay Gilbert, if you don't know already. Uh, Lon, Danielle, Joe, Dan. This is everybody responsible for Honest Trailers except for the people who matter. Um, our editor, <laughs> Kevin Williamson, and our the voice, of course, John Bailey. And our graphics guy, Robert Holtby, who yeah. I believe it's his anniversary. Five years. Five, yeah. five yeah. years. Yeah, if you look at the old ones, it used to be just like some big block aerial sans serif thing. I made them oh, and sorry, they were terrible. No, yeah. they were awful. <laughs> they were terrible because I would do them at 11 o'clock the night before the trailer and I was really tired. Yeah. And so Robert was a god. Quick question, you guys. Make Who's the hack that used to make us? <laughs> Does anybody know? Uh, we're I, going to be talking about uh, Game of Thrones, our behind-the-scenes discussions uh, that went into writing this trailer. We're going to watch the trailer, uh, yell pause, people get mad when that doesn't happen immediately, <laughs> talk about what's happening. And if you stick around to the end, you would see all the deleted scenes that we didn't make it into and finally the questions that you fans have that we'll be responding to so yeah. put your questions in the comments of the honest trailer and you could see us make fun of you here next week. <laughs> this is new. It's exciting. One. We get yeah. to actually reply it's to a like if feature. we screw something up, like forget that Michael Myers' eye might be messed up because Jamie Lee Curtis stabbed him with a hanger. That was Instead my fault. Instead of just living with it in the comments forever, we could actually say like, <laughs> oops. Our bad. Oops. Sorry. Oops. Or no, you're bad. <laughs> um, so it's interesting that we're starting with this one, Game of Thrones Volume 3, mm -hmm. because like, what? hasn't been said about this that yeah. we didn't do on yeah. Watching Thrones or a million other internet videos. Mm -hmm. But just take a quick temperature, season six through eight, mm. Game of Thrones, starting you. It's fine. It's fine? It was fine. Lon, I know you're fairly positive. Yeah, I was not as, I mean, I, I think season eight has its problems, but I was not as down on it as everyone else. Uh, it ruined it for me, Joe. I, I really <laughs> need the Wheel of Time series to come out sooner than later now. Huh. Why is that? Just I need a better fantasy thing to oh. wash out the oh. wash out the stink. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Oh, Jeez, you yeah. mean it? I liked the last, uh, particularly the last season, more than this trailer does. Uh, but I acknowledge that it has several uh, errors, most of them unforced. So yeah. Yeah, what's wrong with you people? Uh, this, uh, I, I, the internet sides with me, and I'm the angriest one. Uh, they, this they blew it. They they completely blew it, and I say that as some, I think they blew it in proportion to how much you love the show. Testify. If, if you were paying attention, take me to church. The more you pay attention, the more they got wrong. Let's go to chapel. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lose my train of thought. Uh, because uh, the, the more you were tracking these characters, I know, Lon, you're going to disagree with me because you were also paying attention because it's also your job. But uh, the more, <laughs> the more uh, invested you were and the more you thought about it, it was almost insulting how little they seemed to think about it or, or how, uh, how little they gave you in terms of sophistication and depth in those final two Yeah, seasons. I don't know if I agree in terms of sophistication. It just rushed. I think everybody agrees, or at least everybody at this table agrees, that they didn't give themselves enough time to do all the things that they clearly wanted to do and needed to do to resolve all of these storylines. And I think that I think that goes across the board. I think we'd all agree with that. Yeah. But I, I don't think that necessarily means that the storytelling lacks sophistication. I think they did a pretty good job considering the limitations they put on themselves. But they were self-imposed limitations. Right. I agree. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Mm -hmm. I just think that that's different than saying the storytelling Lack sophistication. That's they were just they were rushing headlong into it. I think a lot of the things they did still worked really well. It's just that they had to sacrifice a lot because they were rushing so much. Yeah, I, I feel like it was like a trip to like the Caribbean. I was on a cruise to the Caribbean, and then like three fourths of the way through, like somebody came into my room and beat me up and threw me like in the brig. <laughs> and then at the end, that's so specific. And then at the end, like we got to the Caribbean, and I was just like, I, it's not. I don't. I don't mind where we are. I just did. You have to beat me up on the way here and like lock me up in the brig for. Uh, so uh, the last 25% of the journey? It's like getting your ass kicked in St. Martin. Is yeah, that exactly. that's, that's not your comparison to season 8. I mean, through. I know the internet said that a million times already, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. That it's a pleasant <laughs> rum-soaked beat mm -hmm. down yeah. at the end of a carnival cruise. Sure. At the end, I'm at the Caribbean, but I'm questioning how I got there. Okay. there there's so many things now that I'm glad didn't end up making it into this show. Uh, Lady Stoneheart, you know, more of the, the Lord of Light stuff, because... None of it, none of it mattered. They dumped so much lore into the show, and then, like, like David Brented it, like, they won't remember. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I did remember, because I like those things. Um, 
I don't know if part of it is like the show started off as like the anti Dungeons and Dragons and then jumped headlong into Keebler Elves and John coming back to life and stuff and mm-hmm. then took a hard right back into the anti Dungeons and Dragons and it it's too much whiplash for tone, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that the uh, the appeal was so much um, the shades of gray over the right. first five seasons, or six seasons, really, where it's like, you know, uh, there's pitfalls of seeking power, whether you're doing it for good reasons or bad reasons, it can corrupt you, um, mm-hmm. you, can, you can be a good person in some respects and not others, uh, and it just kind of turned into the forces of good versus the forces of evil charging that, at each other. That's at not really true. I mean, I think a lot of the things that bugged people about the last season is they wanted it to end definitively with, like, Jamie Lannister's redeemed. He's good now. And, like, the show didn't do that, and that's what bugged people. It's like, it left no, it on this ambiguous no, note. Like, it, it did say Jamie Lannister is redeemed. He's good now. It, we went through that whole journey, right. and then, and then, he, then, cha- and then, then he, he got thrown in the brig of the cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> but, the that's not, but that's not saying he's all good or all bad. That's that's shades of gray. That's exactly what you're saying was lacking. That's like he's he's did, no, it that's wasn't not a, shades of gray. That's like a grayscale, like a nice color shift from from you know uh, dark to light, and then wait, but wait, like all that, the way back to dark. But that happens all the time, and like that's life. People but, like uh, they, but, they get clean and then they relapse. But, you but, know? It's, I mean, but it's it's uh, but it's not the result. It's the method. I think is and I agree it's like it's not so much where things ended up it's mm-hmm. the fact that it's how we got there where we spent mm-hmm. the time where yeah. the show spent its time the way that it told the story I I the one thing that I'm in favor of on a character level is what happened with Daenerys I think that her going mad uh, makes total sense given what the show set up but I will agree that the method in which they yeah. set that arc and that turn up in the final season was rushed and was not yeah. it could, if it had been handled with more care I think it would have had a much bigger impact which is why I it, say like I like where they ended up I just think getting there was I the problem I just thought they had to me. really tie themselves in knots to get her to kill innocent poor people yeah they, they I, really I, bend well, over because backwards. like well they support Cersei and she they do this by choice it's like no you're smarter than that yeah. you know it's not their choice but if well, they'd taken five episodes to set that up I think they could have done it in a much better sure. way yeah. Yeah, I think well, that whole thing works if you buy that John and Daenerys love each other like to me that's the downfall of that whole plot line is that it doesn't emotionally pay off at the end like you want it to because you just don't care about them as a couple like you did John and Agreed each other for three months right they, yeah. they, 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 we just never we, they, we, again it, it was too mm-hmm. Rushed, I think, and we never really felt that connection between the two of them. So the way that it ends up, you're like, oh, okay. Well, I figured that might right. happen, because but it doesn't they, emotionally. But hold pay on, hold on. Yep. The show's going to be four hours long. Let's yeah. start the trailer. <laughs> okay, okay. So, okay. Talk more right. as, right. it, as it goes. Trailer starts at whatever. Tra- trailer there. starts at uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Put it's it in not the time our first code. rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trailer starts now. <laughs> My favorite is do Game of Thrones. You cowards! <laughs> I mean, we are cowards. We were afraid. Pretty standard internet comment. <laughs> it was the highest rated show of its era, the most talked about pop culture event of the shot. decade, and by what the time? end Miguel's of its Pachek final season, one of the biggest it. letdowns in TV Medieval history. War thing. Oh, have Bran the Broken, protector of the realm. <laughs> oh. Game of Thrones, season mm. six through you eight. Should do King Conan. <laughs> <laughs> if we may, pause, pause. Pause. there is no situation in which The Price is Right, uh, you failed horn. Not, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if this is in the deleted scenes, but we had John try to sing the Curb Your Enthusiasm theme song. Uh-huh. Uh, the Price is Right horn, funny. So much yeah. funnier. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that if that if that actually played in your life after something you did, like that would scar you for life. It does <laughs> in my head. <laughs> if you like mess something up and somebody play that in real time be like well I, I'm, I have to go die yeah. now. You yeah. can only offset that by having that like bam, 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 happen every time you did something good. That's the yeah. only way you would feel okay. You have to carry a defensive dance hall air horn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, fair enough. Okay, let's keep going. Don George R. R. Martin's doorstop novels returns, but since they already burned through those, they're going off an outline. And boy, does it feel that right, way. Pause. We're after one so, uh, as far as the show, we all agree that it's rushed. Now, mm-hmm. The theories for why it's rushed include they were working on Star Wars instead. It's Kathleen yeah. Kennedy's fault. <laughs> it's Kathleen Kennedy's fault. I, I feel like... It's to a great start here. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kathleen Kennedy's fault. Well, my girlfriend broke up with me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, 
Anyways, let's not go down that road. Um, <laughs> well, I was going to say, I think that's been discredited, right? Because they made the decision with HBO on how to finish up the show before the Lucasfilm deal was done, the right? The timeline is, yeah. I don't yeah. think the timeline on that actually works. Yeah. But do you think that the reason they hurried it up is because they ran out of books and they only had bullet points. I maintain that uh, there should be some mention in the historical record of the fact that they did not sign up to finish uh, a, a Song of Ice and Fire. And I, like, I even went back and was looking at articles when they announced the show. Like All of the news and the comments were like, Back from 2010, we're just like, you know, the series is expected to come to an end within, you know, 10 years, which will give George R. R. Martin plenty of time to finish his ongoing <laughs> saga. Like, they did not sign on to right. this thing with the th with the knowledge of like, oh, and by the way, uh, you're going to get the first crack at the ending. Uh, I think that that is part of the equation. Mm. I think that's part of the equation. That's a good point. They and probably I'm thought that they'd have all, two more books to draw it's on. It's not all yeah. his fault, but I think it played a part. And, yeah. and the other thing is, I mean, Star Wars specifically aside, when you make a show like this that becomes the hottest show in the world, you are constantly getting offers for, uh, to do yeah. other amazing yeah. things. Mm -hmm. And I think that after a while, anybody would be like, Much all right. like George R. R. Martin, yeah, who instead of his... finishing his books, will go to any <laughs> Comic-Con yeah, like, anywhere yeah, in the like, world. He's doing yeah. edit any compilation. Yeah, he's doing, doing night he's doing flyers video on game. Yeah, he's written seven other books. Yeah. <laughs> I probably most likely everyone involved was having some sort of a member of their family's like, you care more about Game of Thrones than the game <laughs> right. of your family. Well, yeah. yeah. The like, cast was getting more expensive. Right. It's yeah. harder to shoot the show. It's more expensive to shoot the show. The logistics are ten times more difficult. These aren't excuses. I think they're contributing factors. That doesn't change how the show was written, but I think it contributes right. to why it was the way that it yeah, was. Yeah, I don't think it's some massive conspiracy you're like oh they just really wanted to go do this other thing because they're greedy i think it was like a con yeah a bunch of different things like it's hard to do something like this for like a decade that's why there's so few big also, shows that keep going that yeah. long that outline probably sucked oh, <laughs> like three blank pages and then it says like danny bad <laughs> <laughs> the original outline has uh, uh john bang and aria so anyways it was just, it was just uh, all let's just pie. keep going let's just keep going is this whole thing about pie <laughs> Does it feel that way? We're after one mixed season that still pulled off some major highs. I like season yes. six. Yeah, I definitely agree that six. Hodor is an amazing episode. I disagree that six is mixed. Everything up real quick. Whoop. Because the showrunners either got bored, burnt out, or bitter that no one liked their slavery R. idea. R.I.P. Confederate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that no. never really pay off. <laughs> but now hear me so out. <laughs> what <laughs> if? <laughs> no, no, don't know. No, I'm not going to. Well, but we can't talk in then, because then it's just all people say, like, pause the trailer. Or if you want to see the last trailer, click one video <laughs> that way and watch it, then come back. And then time travel right now. Try to strike a balance. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, no, I'm, no I'm not wants, going. We're not going no to create the Confederate, Confederate pitch meeting. No, <laughs> you know, I don't think. Sure? I don't think anyone at this table. But hear me out, <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool? <laughs> Oh, just uh, wrong idea and the wrong time? Is it, is it possible yeah. to be? Yep. Oh, yeah. it was the wrong place at the extremely wrong time. I, mean, I think that just means it's wrong. Yeah. 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 Just just wrong. But good for that for trying. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> nothing, nothing about that is good. There's not even the nugget of the seed of like, do you oh, think, I could see that. Do you no. think after all that went down, they were so pissed that Joss Whedon snuck it in through the sci-fi avenue with Firefly? Because that is totally the Confederates that. lost the war with spaceships. Yeah. Mm. Do you think they're just like suck it? Well, it's kind of like the Man in the High Castle too. It's just like just yeah. different, right? Uh, different war. Yeah. No, but it was different. Like, different everything. Yeah. It was like modern. Wasn't the pitch like modern yeah, day? It was yes. like, wouldn't life be a lot easier? Well, I don't know about no. that. I don't okay. know. No. I think we know no. if that was their pitch. <laughs> I don't know if that's, I doubt that that was what they pitched. <laughs> you just keep talking and I start fading away like back to the future. <laughs> Confederate. <laughs> HBO Max. <laughs> Three X's. Uh, all right, let us keep, let us keep watching. Like their slavery idea, featuring huge revelations that never really pay off. You're the true king. So so ultimately, the king has chosen to send no, you to just the No, just a point in that him and Danny's relationship. Turning on a dime. Stay with me. <laughs> and characters who straight up forgot their best text. friends, <laughs> or forgot they had magic shape-shifting powers, or forgot who they're at war with. Danny kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet. She forgot? <laughs> forgot the biggest navy in Westeros existed? Uh, Admit it, this whole show was an elaborate plot for you to meet Ed Sheeran. Yeah. 
Uh, pause. Uh, yeah, I'm not one to. I'm not one to. I don't want to pile on. I, what Benny Off and White had to do with the show is um, impossible. But you don't do yourself many favors when you know that you're going to be explaining an episode, and you know it's going to air directly after the episode, and the thing about why your flying character uh, with a huge si- a line of sight uh, didn't see a bunch of ships that were her main uh, tactical enemy with them. Mm-hmm. she forgot about them just like no you're not helping yourself yeah, really yes. is and that's a bit, like there are things in the show if only that rock hadn't been there <laughs> to hide the boats <laughs> if only i mean yeah that, i think the answer is like just own it you know like you never it, yeah. you, you, yeah. you never win by explaining something like that it's always better to just it's be like she didn't see him dramatic license yeah uh, because just like, even the show has established many times Times over that any time a large party is moving, that they always send a scouting. Sure, group. or scouts uh, report back uh, that yes, the Lannister right. army is on the move. Blah blah blah. So, but uh, I don't think that mm, uh, characters making mistakes. I think we say in the trailer, the characters making mistakes aren't plot holes. But that was just so egregious. That's like yeah. an entire oh, army that, slash. That would be Navy. like if the Night King walked up behind Jon Snow with his army and tapped him on the shoulder, and you're like, "How the hell did they get there?" And they're like, "John kind of forgot that the Night King was on." Yeah. Like, I know by that. I'm, I'm sorry. Not, I'm not trying to make excuses for anybody, but I do think this is like. It, the, it, they're getting all the blame, but the, the blame goes around for something like that. Because also, you could shoot that sequence in a way that doesn't make it feel so egregious, but they mm. don't. They shoot it in a way that makes it feel extra egregious, where yeah. you can visibly see that she has the ability to see this army, mm-hmm. and then she doesn't. And like, the boats, yeah, from certain angles, they're behind a rock, but uh, otherwise they're just them? bombing yeah. there like German tourists I mean, like, in Miami. Like, they're just just like, yeah. Yeah. floating up and down, like, no station. You can shoot it in ways that suggest like the confusion of the scene or her lack of visibility on the drive. There's a million things you could Even do. Even just like yeah. fog, man. Yeah, yeah. fog. Yeah. Visually. Yeah, they uh, have like, they have this alchemist <laughs> that helped her build a giant green napalm bomb. Yeah, and like, a crossbow, they but can, bigger. Yeah, they can it's figure out. It's called a scorpion. They can figure out some fog. <laughs> like they, they It's can a figure out. I got correct. I got what I'm actually done that. Um, it's a, uh, uh, here's the thing. Dullista. <laughs> here's the thing, if it would have been fog, uh, which would have solved one plot hole, then the next one would have been like, so you're telling me that you're on Greyjoy in the fog in <laughs> Fire and <laughs> There was no yeah, way. The dragon would have had to get closer well, and then whatever. The answer yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you didn't see him. I think, I think mistakes aren't plot holes would have worked if she was just cocky because she's like, I'm on a dragon, and then paid the price for she being got way in too close. close and yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Uh, or she does what she did later in the show, which is that she's uh, has a, a, a lot of hubris and dive bombs the Iron Fleet, and yeah, then the dragon dies easily. that way. Um, sure, you could do it that way, too, but she, whatever. She forgot. We, we won't harp on this moment. The internet has done plenty yeah, of the that. The internet's harped on. She forgot. Forgot the Let's harp on it some more. <laughs> I mean, that's Grey Worm. He's looking at the Iron Fleet. My queen. If we're getting something. It's a pretty song. <laughs> I like the inclusion of Arya. That's Landing. a pretty song. <laughs> so they move the entire city to the desert. There, our Vegetation main players will finally collide to see who will sit on the Iron Throne. Will the reign of Queen Cersei continue, or will she just stare out the window? This was ridiculous. Poor Lena. She yeah. I mean, you know, it's like a House of Cards. Like once he's president, there's nothing, there's nothing for to do. do. She's queen. She yeah. has to wait to be dethroned. Will Daenerys continue her surgical attacks against the ruling class, or will she 420 blaze the world when her nephew <laughs> will give her the D no? I, I didn't understand any of that. So. <laughs> okay, pause. <laughs> okay, so. I mean, I do. <laughs> I do, but it's very modern. I, 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 that's a bit of a uh, hyperbole, but uh, that was a very modern sentence for my delicate sensibilities. <laughs> oh, I will okay. say that this is like the one line in the script that we as a room came together to perfect. That's true. Yeah, yes. we, we like, definitely tweaked it a lot. Little contributions will from she, everyone at the will table. Will she blaze everyone? Will she 420 blaze yeah. everyone? <laughs> yes, the D no more? Yeah. The D no more? Yeah. <laughs> the, the nephew D? Yeah. This is why it's so valuable to work with a writer's room, you guys. Mm-hmm. Get, a, get a team. Idea. Yeah, get a team. <laughs> get your squad. Yeah, that's uh, that line got filtered through all five. Head- oh, I guess all four. Sorry. Dave. I was. Yeah. What happened? Where what was that? Was it I vacation? That was that when I was gone? Yeah. Oh, okay. Might have been. Yeah. Or I was charting. <laughs> yeah, you might have been deep in the charts that day. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. Or will she 420 blaze the world when her nephew will give her the Dino War? <laughs> if she had just burned down the Red Keep. Like a few civilians here and there, you know. We'll okay. All right, pause. No, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this more. But look how cool it looks. <laughs> yeah, because Danny, people like uh, one of the defenses of this is like 
you know, that is what happens in med- medieval times. I know this isn't a real show. Like uh, uh, sieges of cities, and you would burn down. Uh, uh, you know, an entire garrison worth of troops or entire civilian mm-hmm. population to to conquer a land. And it's just that's not what she's she's had so many chances to do that and has never done that. She's always put the people first. Mm-hmm. Uh, not always. I would argue that there's been times like with the masters and stuff where yeah. she crucified him. The like, masters, which is like the two percent that's putting a stranglehold on everybody else. That right. was who she always drained her the swamp. But Jorah was she the one. The swamp. <laughs> she took out the deep state. She's but, always been. <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? QAnon? <laughs> she she always had advisors. Not, we were to sail right past that. She always had advisors. There were many times when she when her first instinct was unparalleled cruelty, and she said, "I'm going to do this horrible thing to send a message." And she had advisors like like Sir Jorah and Tyrion, and that were saying like, "Don't do that because that's that is not you, you don't want you don't want to rule by fear." And this was the ultimate chance of like all oh, that whole support system been stripped away and she could only see uh, things in flavors of my enemies and not my always, enemies. Her enemies were always the upper class. It was always directed at the lords and ladies or the masters or whatever. Uh, but the last time she liberated a city, everyone came running out of the gate saying, Misa, Misa and was like carrying her and then like she shows Jar-Jar? up, she's liberating and all of the people are running away from her saying like, help me my queen, help me my queen. She got pissed off. She's like, no, you know what? I'm liberating you. Screw you. You're, not, you're my enemy. She I get knows, it. I buy they, it. They, they, really went, they vacillated with how much she knows or doesn't know about Westeros, because like in the early seasons, like her brother had told her everything and she knows about the Lannisters and she would she would know that these people are innocent. I, I mean, I, I think the one thing I would take issue with what you're saying is I think you're you're assuming that it's class-based, which is very modern, like the Daenerys. I like, know, she, no, if this really was the, the medieval times, she wouldn't give a shit. She loves the poor and she gets it's never been It's never been on class. She's very aristocratic and upper class and that's how she sees the world. She doesn't see herself as like a Marxist where it's like, we're gonna seize the She's means She's gonna of break production. the wheel. That's just, <laughs> wheel breaking. That's, that's included in terms of like slavery. Like she, it, it's about personal freedom. Freedom, but it's not about economic freedom. It's just about know. like I mean, the show you, you not... shouldn't be a slave. I don't know that slaves have a lot of economic freedom, though, right? <laughs> no, well, that's, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying she's about she's about ending the practice of slavery, but she's not about ending the practice of like wage slavery. Like <laughs> obviously, like she's still no. She's keeping feudalism. Danny said uh, standard minimum wage across the board. <laughs> yeah, it's like we're not talking universal basic income here. My, like, my thing again is just the, the delivery of it because I think the show did do a good job setting this up. Her dream, uh, where she uh, runs into uh, Aquaman uh, in the keep and it's snowing and that's obviously Ash. Like, the show told us this was coming ages ago, but instead of doing, like, a really solid arc, they... They started an arc, and then she just turned into. Remember when Fred Flintstone, like the bowling ball, would hit his head, and he would turn into an evil mobster? Like it just turned into that. Like on a dime. Yeah. She Stefan or Keld? Yeah. yeah. Or Donna Duck when the flower pot used to yeah, happen, yeah, and he would get yeah. suave all of a sudden. Same thing. Well, or yeah. like when Yoda busts a nut and he can talk <laughs> normal. Uh, another writer's room discussion based on a tweet that I should credit. Uh, oh, I boy. forget who did it though. Um, anyways. Uh, Let's keep watching. Yeah. <laughs> Will Jon Snow do anything? Uh, I'm tired of fighting. I never wanted a crown. I don't want it. I never want it. I like this right. I told you I yeah. don't want it. I don't want it. I never have. No. The winner at the end of it all <sighs> is the character with the best story. And who has a better story? Than Bran the Broken. So many people. Good. Bran? Good. Name one. Bran? The creepy ass kid? How about like literally anyone else. It's okay, Ghost. big voice guy. King Ghost. Ghost. Uh, pause. So pause. I, I, Bran does not have the best story of any of these characters, no. but I can kind of see why Tyrion would think. I think that, that makes more sense if you see it through Tyrion's eyes than just a read as like, the, here's the showrunners talking to you. Sure, but there's you know 12 people voting on it, speaking of anachronistic <laughs> right. political stuff, yes. and they would all be like, no. Well, nah. I think <laughs> what I really think you miss in the in the rush to get to that scene that I would have really loved to see is, and, and this is not even just in terms of Bran's story, but like the whole show, was 
it, we never got a sense for the news from the north making it to the rest of Westeros. Like, or, there yeah, was, the Night King. Right. Does anyone huge, believe this shit? Exactly. And, like, yeah. I would have loved more of a sense of were there witnesses who went back and retold mm-hmm. everybody what they saw or, like, some sort of way of passing what knowledge of what happened. Because, yeah, as far as you know, the Prince of Dorne is like, what are you guys talking yeah, about? Yeah, because that, that one sounds zombie, crazy. That one zombie got showed to everybody, but there's no well, way. Well, like, to that. 12 people, yeah. again, yeah. In, that, in that dragon pit. Where, um, where are all the ravens? Yeah. We defeated the night. You'd have yeah. to assume that, that, that there's like, no mail in the lab. Yeah, you'd have to series. assume that like south of like the neck, everybody is like, that didn't really happen. Yeah, yeah. I want the scene where they're explaining what happened yeah. to the peasantry. I would have. And, and it's like, what? Yeah. What's a, a war? Yeah. <laughs> the three like, old ravens. <laughs> they did such a good job. <laughs> they did a <laughs> They did such a good job in past seasons of like you'd see minstrels telling people stories, or you'd hear like plays or whatever. Just like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> when he died, we learned he, he got burned up. But uh, yeah, and, and, right. But like some sense of here's how people are yeah. hearing about, it, or like they're hearing inaccurate information about yeah. it, or something. Mm-hmm. I would like something. No, I, I, no, I like the minstrel idea of Arya like, Stark who yeah. can shapeshift now. <laughs> the Night King with a glass sword. Just I would want to see full Rankin Bass Hobbit movie style. Yeah. Yeah. I would want to see Westeros' Night King truthers. They were just like Winterfell would have you believe they. Yeah. The Night King, but his body conveniently turned to ice. <laughs> Dragon no fire can't melt yeah. stone parapets. Is it hell? It depends. Pixar it's didn't a, happen. A mortal <laughs> enemy undead. turned into an untraceable <laughs> element. <laughs> undead fire can't melt magic ice. Yeah. <laughs> it's facts. Uh, All right. Let's keep going. <laughs> Snow did 9 11. Social, social. Doing great so far. <laughs> Welcome Hardware to the show. Heroes you come to love and say hello to their one dimensional look alike. Hey. Like Varys, but of the dick joke. If I lost my c- I I'd drink all the more to him than I don't this. think yeah, this yeah. actor is sure not happy with you consider yourself yeah, his character. Also, shout goals, out to my brother for helping us compile all of these your... clips. Oh, yes. oh yeah, yeah. yeah! Yeah! Did a speed Little watch finger. and got us some yeah. great time yeah. codes. In Winterfell. Mm. <sighs> so much lurking. Yeah, leaning on the wall and the keep it Winterfell is the other one. You came home. You still love it. Needle. Hello, hot pot. I'm here, yeah. Lady Stark. <laughs> Don't call me that. You said we'd meet again. And here we are. You left me to die. First, I robbed you. While the shows were like <laughs> the great villains, backslide from the Joffrey S. Ramsey Bolton to the mysterious Night King, who, after all your fan theories, really was just some dude the Keebler L stabbed to a tree, <laughs> to this soggy pickup artist who stole the dragon's <laughs> pot armor for himself. I have to be honest, this is making me hot. Uh, what Tim Burton movie is this dork from? I take a dozen high spare lectures over more than the emo Pringles guy. I don't know guy. if we have anything we to add. Uh, I can't uh, defend your own great joy in any way, shape, form. No, I, I, I have no desire to defend your own. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Potential. I really hated the, the well, pause final. for a second. I, I really didn't like Kim versus Jane. Like, that, they hadn't established yeah. that at all. It felt totally out of nowhere. We knew he liked... Cersei. Cersei, but, but we didn't know he felt particularly competitive with Jaime, or that he like dreamed of being the man who was one day going to kill Jaime you're, Lannister. You're on Greyjoy, and then uh, John being Lyanna's the Brigar uh, plus L equals J. Mm-hmm. To me, felt mm-hmm. like the two things inherited from the novels into the show that they felt obliged to include that they had no real sense narratively of how to actually incorporate yeah. into Well, the weird thing is, like, he in the books is more... Um, He's got a magic horn? Yeah, he is, like, an absolute chaotic evil, like... I think they have it in the show where he rips the tongues out of his uh, his ship crew because yeah. he likes yeah. the silence, but, like... Balon mentions it to him, but they almost... The way they play it is almost like it's a rumor. Like, Balon's yeah. like, I heard this crazy story about you! Like, it's not confirmed. But he is one of, like, the more sadistic Tortury yeah. uh, people with like a mystic bent to him uh, on a on a show or book series full of that, and instead they turned him into like the swaggering stepdad. <laughs> like, Why is the room always gone? Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah, it's it just it never really comes together. But but even even that, even this like weird kind of half formed character, if you'd done a better job right away of being like he has heard of Jamie Lannister, he like he dreams of be going down in history, is that that do a little bit of legwork you know, on yeah. it so that when that moment arrives, we're like, oh, he's gonna get his chance instead of like, well, why wouldn't he just go? Why wouldn't or, he just leave? Even just the idea of just like the, all of this. 
stuff was the baby. Cersei and the baby, what? like they even planted stuff there. It's yeah. like he thinks it's his kid. Okay, then have him discover that it's not. Then you have some right. reason for yeah. him to be angry at Jane. No. Yeah, no. No, he's just no. kind of like, ah. <laughs> hey, I, just, just, I decided I hate you. <laughs> Look at this war going on behind us. It's you and me fight. Like, what? Why? Okay. Yeah, sure. Jamie, instead of that whole fight, Jamie could have just gotten hit with a flower pot on his way. <laughs> yeah, Jamie got very suave. He gets a top hat, like a waistcoat. And he's like spinning a pocket watch. Very yeah, classic. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> let us finish Game of Thrones. All right, keep going. Preachers. You have a lot to go. We live. Only by the mother's mercy. Truly, everyone. This is a lot of season four. six. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I like Tim. Jonathan Price is a great actor. Yeah. Jonathan yeah. Price is great. We should have done like one Tomorrow Never Dies. Villain <laughs> riff in there. Okay, never mind. There's no news. Controlling the media. Because Game of Thrones can still deliver some amazing visual spectacles. As soon as you remember how to crank the brightness on your TV. There we go. From the claustrophobic terror fall. of the Battle of the Bastards yeah. to the ground level chaos of the Battle of Peter's Landing, not on my eight TV. guys yeah. waiting for help on a frozen pond. <laughs> 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 this shot is great. We have to burn his body. And this is the worst example of oh, the, uh, the teleporting. The fire sword. When yeah, they have yeah, to yeah, yeah, yes. run from beyond the wall to, to the wall. Uh, to the wall then a raven, uh, compose a raven, uh, catch his breath, yeah. uh, pant out his message uh, to a maester, I guess, because who knows if uh, Gendry can even read or write. Seems uh, unlikely. Yeah, yeah. Very unlikely. Uh, and then that gets uh, sent to Dragonstone as the raven flies. <laughs> it gets to Danny or, or Varys or somebody who has to, who's who's her mail room, her mail boy? Yeah, it's probably, it's probably yeah, Varys. It's probably or, Varys. Varys. Could uh, theoretically be oh, I, I need like, to call a meeting. Find her in the, in the boning cave with Jon Snow. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've got a message. Like they're already dead at this point. They're way well because it was like it seemed like it was about let's say a day. Yeah. Because it was it was the, the the ice had to freeze back over. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. About a day. Uh, it's very unlikely. Very unlikely. Yeah. That that was again where timing was just like you did. You, it, I, I get that you you have to be there's a certain amount of narrative convenience that you have to have, but that was again where it feels like you hit fast forward and didn't really think through. Mm -hmm. There's probably a way yeah. to do that logically, and they just kind of like, eh. yeah. yeah, which is not always great. Yeah, yeah I, I I've always been very loud as one of the people who was like, do you really want to watch four episodes of two people walking to another town? But yes. that was one. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> That's what Game of Thrones was. It was like the moments in That's between fair. the That's moments. Fair. It was like so many good good stuff about that show was like on their way to something else. I, I get no. It's yeah, fair. no. I think the, you roll to, for perception. To do the, to maybe some crazy to do the scale thing, of the yeah. story, the way it sort of wound up. The way they'd done it in like season one, it would have been like a thirty season show. Yes, that's true. Okay, put okay. it in my veins. All right. <laughs> All right, keep going. Oh, now you use the fire sword. Rest assured that in the later seasons, everything no, will look awesome, and no one you really care about is gonna die. This was ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, this is the one I can't really, not that one, this one. Sam. Yeah. Yeah, Sam. <laughs> Sam was lying, <laughs> screaming on my floor. Just single-handedly took those dudes out. They all glenned. So your wounds for the show that managed to both limb and sprint to the finish line. Favorite line of the Just trailer. Just hold the door on giving it crap for not ending the way you thought. They can't please everybody. Or yeah, for people are going to be mad no matter what, but maybe not they this many people. At some yeah. Point, yeah. Or even all the huge strategic blunders. Mistakes aren't the same as potholes. No, be grateful for a show that's given us the last communal experience in our divided world. Crabbing on the final seasons of Game oh, of Thrones. <laughs> Together. Uh, I'm gonna miss you, dumb I mean, show. Go on, get out of here. Probably one of the smellier on. scenes. I don't need yeah. you. Are we white fanging Game, show, uh, game no, of Thrones? No, I'm not gonna here? watch the spinoffs. What do you mean? White fanging. What does that mean? Like, get out of here! Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's called yes. white fanging, exactly. correct? It's just like, I love you so much that I'm going to make you leave. Yeah. Yeah. They always called it Harry and the Henderson. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Also, Thank Harry you. and the Henderson. Get out of here! We don't want you anymore! <laughs> <laughs> it also happens in Game of Thrones in season one, yeah, where she right. shoes away the, uh, the yeah. dire wolf. So, uh, I have a common trope. Scene. We can do a good cool hunt of that matter better. I think I first heard it as white fanging. Yeah. Nice. Get out of here, come on. What oh, Lithgow, it's heartbreaking in that scene, yeah. Harry and Henderson. What if Rickon, no right to be that sad. What if Rickon had just showed up in the last episode and was like, I'm king! <laughs> <laughs> Rickon. Yeah, that would've been, that would've, remember, remember that guy? Yeah. Would've been a great story. Yeah. That's a better story. Let me pull up the chair for this story. Rickon, motherfucker! <laughs> I learned that you would, must always serpent 
kind when running away <laughs> from someone armed with an arrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's his story. Oh, he got shot, didn't he? Remake. Yeah, no, yeah, Ramsey, yeah I thought he, he'd that's been That's what dead. would have made it a great story. Battle yeah. faster. It's like, how'd he get out oh, of that? Yeah. For like, some Ram- reason, I was like, he. I don't even remember him. I thought he just they just abandoned him. <laughs> no, he got shot with an arrow, and he's probably yeah. like horse mush at this point. Right. Yeah. 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 brought me back, guys! I'm here! <laughs> I take that whole riff back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep going. Oh, oh, go on. Get out of here. Come on. I don't need you. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna watch the spinoffs. You crazy? I'll check them out. Story. I'm gonna watch. Them. I'll watch them. <laughs> Sir John. Jack Sparrow, a Lannister, always looks on the bright side. I think we might yeah. live. Tyrion, they didn't have too much <laughs> for do. him to do. Uh, here to help. Surely there's some good news bit. lurking. He's wrong a lot. Be happy yeah. as well. Thank you. I feel much better. Mortal stick. That was a good episode. <laughs> yeah. I forget this was in season six. Yep. <laughs> A lot of this. So much it is. So much. <laughs> yeah, that's my queen. I am loyal to my queen. I am loyal to my queen. <laughs> I obey my queen's commands. I kill the queen's enemies. <laughs> the new prince of Dorne, I guess? Mm. I don't know. Doesn't f-ing matter. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Strickland? <laughs> what kind of name is Harry Strickland in a fantasy world? Harry Strickland sells propane and propane accessories. And pause. Right. This 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 could be the answer to one of our fan questions. Somebody asked um, us who wrote the uh, Stephen H. Who wrote that? Says Joe wrote that Harry Strickland joke, didn't he? I did not. That was a Spencer. Oh, okay. Or Alon? I, I mean, I I don't know. We were all going around making fun of yeah. the name Harry Strickland. I feel like that was kind of communal. But propane was already on on the page when we were oh. when we were. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know. Yeah. I mean, but that's I think Strickland that we propane doing, from from King of the yeah. Hill. But I don't know who who thought. When we of that. were doing Watching Thrones, I think we might have been right. talking about it. Yeah, we definitely um, made fun of the name. Doesn't matter who wrote what. These things right. just come out of the ether. I said Harry Strickland runs Strickland paint and tile. That was my. Uh, 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 there we go. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, there you go. We'll do. We'll do all the questions uh, uh, after these messages. I'm oh, sorry. Going. That was a bad panel. Uh, I should have saved questions till after the show. I apologize. <laughs> What kind of name is Harry Strickland in a fantasy world? <laughs> Harry Strickland sells propane and propane accessories. All right, our next comedian. You might have seen him north of the wall. Give it up for Tormund Giant. He just turned into complete no, which one comic relief. They actually ass. tried to make him, or he was actually kind of scary in the... He was. Yeah, yeah. he was. Yeah, so going back on uh, uh, my review, school. yeah, like, he's he's very scary in this he first season. as much as two fleas f***ing. Stay back, he's got blue eyes! I've always had blue eyes! <laughs> <laughs> That's our tour, but lucky man. <laughs> it's like Kramer. Fan service. <laughs> Thought you might still be rolling. <laughs> there it is. Rap service. Oh, <gasps> you're just gonna murder me <laughs> on this murder show? This is about the shocked faces, correct? Yeah, yeah. everyone's so surprised. Like, what? You like, stabbed what? Me? my my mortal enemy? <laughs> you killed me? <laughs> Shippers. Hey, oh, I, this is one of those things I didn't realize until you see it all put together. Good God, yeah. this was so much. A lot of ships. Ship reverse ship. I think we even cut a lot of ship stuff out of this. We one. did. Yeah, no, we had a but we had a lot more ship shots. This and that we don't have the men thing. I was shocked by yeah. how many times they repeated that boy. beat. Yeah. Don't forget you, my little pup. Yeah. Less nudity than ever, but still. I mean, we have to at this point in the Game of yeah, Thrones. This is like the stare it. montage of the Game yeah. of Thrones yeah. trailers. We have to do a, you know, there's boobs, but and also butts. things. Oh, no one wants yeah. to see that. <laughs> or that. Oh, that. No, that's surprising. Definitely not that. We've known her since she was 14, you sickos. <laughs> trying to impress. You're impossible to impress, Dad. I won't apologize for trying to rescue you. And daddy is issues she? just, just infiltrate genre. Yeah. 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 What's any daddy <laughs> issues in this as much as it's just like. Every dad is just so hard on you. Yeah. Like they're just like even Ned Stark. Yeah, it's like tough guy to impress. Better men. Nobody's like so the I'm proud. There we go. Their army's gone. Our army's gone. Do we have enough men? How many men do we have in the north to fight? <laughs> Ten thousand less. Fewer. We need every man we can get. We don't have the numbers. We don't have the numbers. We don't have the numbers. I don't have enough men. We don't have the men. We don't have the men. You said you don't have enough men. We need more men. We need more men. We need more men. We're lucky to have this many men. It's not enough. No, it's not many, enough. Many, 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 many characters many, many. have ever done this. Also, <laughs> yeah, I like this one. I shot my own father with a crossbow. 
I betrayed my queen. I pushed a boy out of this. Was the Tyrion you know. did this as a joke in season one? Yeah. Right? yeah. Mm -hmm. This was I. I remember. I came up with this for that scene when I was watching. He was kind on your Jamie confessed. I made a terrible mistake. I made a mistake. A horrible mistake. Made a huge mistake. <laughs> made a terrible mistake. I tried to do one of the dumber plans ever conceived. I underestimated my enemy. <laughs> Who knew sisters would talk to each other? <laughs> Never gonna unsee that. You'll never survive in the score. I have two days too. in the score. Manage Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Danny lights on fire. The hound will always have the same John. Even though it's the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Rob Stark. All right, so there you go. I think we, we should, uh, let's roll right into the deleted scene so you yeah. can see what's even less funny than that. <laughs> yeah, these were ex uh, Much deleted less for fun. a reason. Game of Thrones, oh, this is Kirby season oh. six through mm. eight. Bum, bum, bum. Because <laughs> we were afraid to use the actual music. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's okay, big voice guy. Remember, it's just a trailer. You get hyped up. You sell the show. Sell the show. <clears throat> but you don't have to take my word for it. Just listen to all these happy, satisfied fans. You people are in for it. <laughs> Disappointing. Uh, a pause. Story. That was a much originally much longer about yeah. the cast members who gave interviews, but then it was yeah. a long trailer, so we cut it down. But then when we cut it down, we're like, well, if you lose the context, is it really worth it? So we're gonna we just cut it all together. Yeah, that was all them being asked about how they feel about the ending of Game of Thrones. And yeah. as you can see, you know, they're not thrilled. The, the they're they great they're actors on uh, in character, but out of character, they can't contain <laughs> the disgust on their faces. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's keep uh, showing the deleted scenes. You're in Killjoy. Get <laughs> <laughs> ready for a bunch of these. Pat Skellington, yeah. Yeah. smartest dummy, or the dumbest smart guy. Hey, wave, stick around. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He doesn't look Dornish. <laughs> up the I should have stayed. <laughs> well, I can't forgive. I do. That doesn't matter the anymore. Whole stop crying. The arc of it was just people battery. being like, Can you take "Come on, the yeah. crimes are forgiven." I'll never hurt you, little brother. But I'm tired of watching you cower mm -hmm. like a beat dog. Everything you did brought you where you are now, where you belong, home. Shut up, Brian. You're a good man. <laughs> the Upright Wildling Brigade. Wild and out, with Torn and Giant Spade. Yeah, that was for us. Dashed Hope's Confessional. <laughs> and like, sitting on the dock of the bay. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, Dragon the Brawl Stupor. <laughs> We had a big debate if Dragon yeah. Ball Brand Super was widely king. known enough. Yeah. Raising Brand. <laughs> Get ready. We would not run out of him. Oh, there was way we only did those a long time ago, yeah. but he had to wait to kill off one last thing: the show. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Martin had to kill off the show. Brand. Brand. All right, so that's what you missed uh, for good reason. Um, shall we take some some, uh, some fan questions? Respond to some comments. Yeah, yes. do it. Uh, Guys, why do we blur out nudity and take out curse words? That's a good question. Uh, two reasons. Initially, number one, we used to bleep curse words and blur out nudity because we wanted uh, our shows to be accessible still to, you know, we didn't want it to make it just for adults. Or we're and tasteful. Get, mm -hmm. And get age-gated. That used to be the worst right. thing is you get age-gated where nobody on YouTube uh, mm -hmm. could see your show unless they'd signed in, you know, if you go past. So we wanted to make sure that didn't happen. But in more recent years, it's because... Um, we do like making money on our videos, <laughs> and ad revenue is kind of uh, an important thing, and uh, increasingly, YouTube has started, as a matter of fact, this very video, mm -hmm. this very trailer, which we bleeped and blurred, um, is, has been deemed yeah. uh, in, unsuitable for most advertisers. So it's because Much we like Game of Thrones. do need to make some money <laughs> yeah. in ad revenue, so we have to attempt to, to adhere to the policies of the platform that we uh, participate yeah. on. Plus, if you're looking for your nudity on YouTube, you don't know how to use the internet. Wrong place. Sure. Yeah. Wrong place. <laughs> Plenty um, of other spots. And I assume, much like HBO, we would not want someone under 18 to be watching Honest Trailers. Right. <laughs> I think we'd all be a, out of a job if that happened. <laughs> uh, another question, uh, why, why are TV trailers uh, so much less often? Well, I can answer that, because uh, it's a lot of TV to watch. Movies are short, uh, comparatively. They're about two to three hours long, yeah. depending mm -hmm. on the film. And TV shows are so long, which isn't as much an issue for the writing as it is the editing. Um, yeah. And it mm -hmm. really is a pain in the ass for our editors to have to sift through 
hundreds of episodes of television. Well, we even mentioned we brought in help on the writing side just to go through all the episodes to find the time codes. Or they, like Stuff like the runs with you know Jon Snow saying he doesn't want to do things. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, that's somebody going through the entire show and like looking for all of those moments. And honestly, it's, we also challenge ourselves. Like We could have actually done a five-minute Honest Trailer for these three seasons and just adhered to the internet talking points and you know thrown in the Danny forgot about the Iron Fleet and it was disappointing, etc. The Battle of Winterfell was dark. Arc, but we do try to bring something extra and show our work and yeah finding things like we don't have the men and the all of the bay like you have to watch mm -hmm. the show to do yeah, that there's yeah. just like, no that's way we to, like to put in the trailers yeah there's no way to fake that funk um, yeah, on a nasty dunk or otherwise commenter uh, <laughs> Mael Day points out uh, this is valid where is Sansa in this trailer that's uh, fair we it's goofed fair. Uh, whoops well, well, it's. Uh, I don't know. We, we couldn't goof. mention every character yeah, because it'd be a twenty-five minute trailer. But, but what could we Not say? Not even a starring. Uh, Not a cursory. We could have at least been like, "She's cool." Uh, yeah, Sons is cool. Because her uh, last scene is pretty neat. Her last shot is cool. Uh, I, I, I've always been on Sa uh, Team Sansa. Yeah, I mean, I like her character too. But like, come on, like she really didn't have that much to do in these last three seasons. She's sort of there to put pressure on John. That's sort of that's not our fault. That's the game. Well, that's I don't game remember where she started season six, but like she makes some she serious moves. She uh, escaped yeah. Ramsey. Yeah, she and Theon but, are on the move. Strangely, her arc was too good to be in this trailer because <laughs> yeah. it would be weird if in the middle kind of, of our trailer we were like, and Sansa was really cool. Uh, we should have done that. And maybe we should. We should maybe she should have been in the highs. Lend itself. In the, it, where yeah. Yeah. Showed the or at least call. Or like up. Schmanza Schmark at the end, or some other <laughs> dumb lazy joke no. at the uh, at Take the that. Yeah. Yeah. Sansa. 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 Yeah, fair. Sansa. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a fair question. Uh, a fair Andy question. Walsh says uh, you didn't talk about Danny's quick change to madness at all. Uh, fact check. Yes, we did. Um, uh, DC eight one nine eight eight says I was expecting the Starbucks cup to make a cameo on here. Guess I had to be disappointed one last time. Uh, fact check. We did. It was a uh, it's own star services. Yeah, yeah got, got its, its own, own star. Its own billing and everything. Service and craft. So yeah. we love you, fans. You you give it and you take it away. Yeah. Uh, I guess um, also in the comments, some people were confused by the scene uh, at eight minutes eight seconds, not recognizing it. It was during the nudity montage. There was just a giant close up of a penis. Um, <laughs> well, that's what it was. If you're confused as yeah. to what it was, uh, mm -hmm. that's what it looks like. <laughs> it was from when it was from when Arya was with the actors' troupe. Yeah, and, yeah, and uh, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, and the guy was like, "Does this look weird to you?" Or he's whatever. Got, uh, and it did. He's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's got something on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That looked at. I forgot right, all about not by us, troupe. by a professional. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Caesar Vargas uh, uh, wrote uh, his final comment that we'll discuss. Uh, Breaking Bad is still the greatest TV show ever. Which prompts uh, me to ask, uh, uh, where does Game of Thrones now rank on the all-time best TV show mm. ranking? I don't know, man. They really, they really pooped the bed. It's tough. That, uh, I agree, and yet it still is in my top five. Yeah, I think probably I probably closer to five than one, but yeah, I think it went probably about six to me, just because I judge best shows by rewatchability. Mm -hmm. And like, if there were, if magically there was one person in this world who had not seen Game of Thrones and, and was now interested in doing so, I don't know that I could give it a solid recommend. Okay, wow. wow. I disagree. I think when you take, when we all take a step back and watch the whole series, I'm not saying it's gonna make the ending better, but I think overall it will give the series a boost in that yeah. it's still exceptional yeah. for having that, the majority of its runs. Having that break and having that anticipation build, I think it definitely factors into a lot of the disappointment. Yes, mm -hmm. I just sure. don't think I'll watch it again. Like I walked out of the last, you know, it was that, I think a lot of people had that weird thing, you know, I know we have a lot of friends in this field that are like, their wardrobe was 90% Game of Thrones, or people who mm -hmm. like named their kid Daenerys and Ooh. stuff, who are now like, Sorry, guys. huh. Like I, the other day I pulled my, I have Game of Thrones socks and I pulled them out of my drawer and was like, Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Set aside the Game See, of Thrones sucks. I, I agree it's not as good as the rest of the seasons, but I do not think it is as far removed. It's not throwing the socks from, out, man. Yeah, I don't think so. I think throwing them out. People do. I think there's you still, just put them away for later. Yeah, I mean, I think there's really still only a handful of drama series in history that get anywhere near the level or the ambition or the yeah, scope Yeah, which I also have no interest in rewatching The Wire or Friday Night Lights or, I don't know, I guess I don't, there's too much TV, I can't rewatch Yeah, I mean, right, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I, I I'd love to rewatch a lot of shows. I just can't. Like I just rewatched Deadwood 
before the movie and it's amazing. And yeah. like, mm-hmm. I think Deadwood I would rank above Game of Thrones, but there's not like Deadwood, Mad Men, Sopranos, Twin Peaks. Like, I'm already starting to run out of ideas. Okay, yeah. Breaking Bad was a gift. Uh, yeah, Breaking Bad. But right, maybe like, ten shows ever have yeah. done what Breaking Bad did, yeah. which is to to maintain. And I will also say, season two of Breaking Bad, not great. Is not as good as it is not as good as the rest of the yeah. show. It, it Breaking Bad also had same its with highs the wire. same with the wire. Same with the same wire. With Friday Night Lights. Oh, you got I, preach. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, the season two curse. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's hard. Yeah, I think that very few shows are able to consistently deliver uh, that level of excellence for the majority of their run. Breaking Bad is one of a few of them that that gets it mostly mm-hmm. exceptionally right, mm-hmm. but that is a hard standard to live yeah. up to. Yeah, I mean Breaking Bad also, and it's not to knock Breaking Bad. I love that show. It's genius. It is. It's a character study. It's really got to deliver on do we feel satisfied by where Walt's journey ends and what mm-hmm. maybe Jesse's mm-hmm. journey ends. It's not trying to do what Game of Thrones. It's a lot different to try to work that out. They, yeah, it's got they, a lot of moving pieces. They have to yeah. uh, balance so many plates, uh, like the best show of all time, Guy Fieri's Diners. Drivings and dives. Uh, guys, that's on Australia commentary. No, I'm, I'm cutting the show. I'm cutting it. It's over. It's over. Uh, uh, this is what we do every week uh, over on Fan Entertainment, but now it's on Screen Junkies. We hope you'll join us next week. Uh, same time, same place, but probably shorter because we'll be doing a movie yeah. mm-hmm. next week. Oh, I also forgot. Uh, uh, we'll be teasing next week's Honest Trailer right here, right now. Will I think of a tease? Mm, uh, it's recent. If you think of the magic word, you'll know what we're doing next week. Mm-hmm. There it is. And we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye.